Yeah. Is it automated? Yes. Eh? Hey. Yes. Automated. This one? Yes. I have made my way here to Nkwanta Senior High Technical School. It's here in the OT region. Here is the jurisdiction of the Regional Education Director, Nanakube Ajo Batakai II. Amazing. You know, now the nation wants to focus on STEM education. If you don't know what STEM is, it's, it means we want to prioritize science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. STEM, technology. So here at Nkwanta Senior High Technical High School, I do understand that they've done something really, really, really interesting. They want to solve a lot of problems when it comes to agriculture. Bro, how are you? I'm fine, sir. What is your name? My name is Aoku Winfred. Aoku Winfred? Yes. Aoku, I do understand that you have done... What, what program do you do here? I offer general science. General science? Yes. I do understand that you people have put your brains together to do some magic. Yeah. You know, the layman will see this thing and say, it is magic. <laughs> you are teaching our case witchcraft. Okay. <laughs> it's not witchcraft. Yeah, it's not witchcraft. <laughs> it's called STEM education. Yeah. Amazing. You know, the education minister is passionate about STEM. Yeah. Did you know that? Yes, please. Has he been here before? Yes. The education minister has been to your school before? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him to come to your school. Ask him to come to your school. <laughs> so, educational minister, please, we ask him to come to our school and see how we are also into STEM. Open more for Open more for me, brother. So, you don't say open more for Okay. So, they want you to come and see what they are doing in their school. What have you done? I want to know. We did a project to make a pump. Mm. That is to distribute water in agriculture because in recent times the rainfall pattern has changed and we are not able to get water for our crops and those things so we decided to use the idea behind stem to produce a pump that will give water to our farms even during dry seasons so that our farmers will be able to cultivate crops all year round yeah is it automated yes eh hey. yes Automated. This one? Yes. This farm here? Yes. It's not a big farm. It looks more like a demonstration farm. Yeah, this farm. is the demonstrative farm. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But do you have a big farm here? Not yet. We are on it. You are on it? Yes. But this one is less or more like a prototype of mm -hmm. what could be done, right? Yes. Explain to me what is happening here. Oh, yeah. So, in the whole thing, this is the system, the setup. So this is where we connect power to the whole system. It is powered by the solar system, which is renewable, so that all farmers will have access to it. So when we power the system, we've, we've constructed a pump. So the pump gives water to the farm through these tubes, then they drip. It is a drip system. So it drips to the root zone of each crop. And the whole thing is automated. We have um, soil moisture sensor, this thing, so we plant this thing in the soil. So when the soil becomes adequately moist, it triggers a relay which stops the system from functioning. So that's... So is let me see this thing. Yeah. This one is a soil moisture, moisture sensor. sensor. Yes. You know, Rara Senior High School, they built this thing from the scratch. Okay. So this one is looks like a, a Chinese made, like they made it themselves, like it was bought. But in Rara, they built one from the scratch that, I don't know if you've seen the video, but if you've not seen it, I'll put the video here. Check it and see. Amazing. My first time seeing this. Awesome. So, so what do you have here? This is the bucket. Yes. You have the water in this one. Yes, a reservoir. This one is what? A charge controller, solar charge controller. You see, our panel is 16 volts. 16 volts. And the battery is 12 volts. 12 volts. Our pump is also 12 volts. Okay. So in order to prevent the battery and the pump from being damaged, we use this thing to control the amount of voltage that will go to the battery and the pump to uh, enhance the efficiency of the whole system. Awesome. Yeah. Are all these science students? No. We have agri students and science students. So it's a combination of agri students and, and science, science students. students. Yes. The science students, you came together to 
build the system. The system. And then the agri students. They are in charge of the whole The farm. bedding. Yes. And then the planting. The mulching. The mulching. Yes. Bro, which, which program do you do here? General science. General science. You're also a science student. Yes. Amazing. You are what student? So where are the Greek people? They are here. Hey! Why are you standing there? <laughs> Come inside this chef <laughs> Hey, you people! So you want to bully the Greek people? <laughs> hey! You want to stand there for this science people to bully you? Hey! <laughs> Shoko! Why? <laughs> are you in Form 3? No, Form 2. Are you in Form 3? Form 1. Hey! I now understand! <laughs> I now understand! That is normal. Yeah. So, how does this thing work? I want to see. All right, bro. Turn it on. So, you just a matter of putting on the switch for the first time. Then, after you put on the switch, everything, you see, water will flow. Then, it will be distributed. So, you can see it is dripping to each crop. So, that's it. Ah. We just use this one too to store some water so that it, we are also recycling like we are keep trying to keep the environment clean so we pick bottles then we use them to collect water you also care much about the environment yes you see so this is the main water so if it's a big farm then we can we're going to have a, a water tank a big water tank here yes then set up the system for it yes so the water goes all the way from here and then comes to the pipe yes and you've perforated the pipes and, yes. and you've put in all amazing yeah so how does the sensor work come in the sensor we connected it to a system it, it was a circuit ah. but after the program we disconnected all the things so oh. like we'll connect this sensor to the circuit which will also connect to the same pump. Mm. So when we plant, we plant the sensor somewhere here. Mm. So when the drips comes, when the soil becomes moist, it will get to somewhere here. And because the drip are controlled, so the amount of drops to each crop is the same. So when water gets the, this side of the soil become moist, mm. meaning the whole farm is moist. So the soil, uh, the moisture senses the water and trigger a relay which stops the whole system from distributing water. So it's going to stop distributing until the soil gets dry, dry again. again. Yes. Then, then it, it will trigger that there is no water here, so water should water come should back. Come. Yes, it's whose idea? The team. The team? Yes. Is your headmaster aware that you've done this? Yes, he's aware. He's even proud of this. He's grateful. Regional Education Director, this is what your children have done over here. Has the has director been here to see this? No. She hasn't been here to see. Please, I encourage you to come and see what your children have done over here. Technology for farming. Somebody said that if we go hungry as people, like as, as Ghanaians, it means it's deliberate. It means we now we want to be hungry or we want to be lazy or whatever it is. Because, of course, this is a prototype. It means that we can actually build this thing and build it and put it to work here in this country. If they have prototype it down here and it is working as it's supposed to, it means we can actually set up funds, get into research, I mean research more into this, and then, uh, do we have a national farm? We don't have a national farm. We don't have a national farm. Mm. But I believe Operation Feed Yourself is possible. Even among the schools. Because we have the guys here, the STEM team, who can actually build their system. Yes. It could be a collaborative work. They could be building systems in the school for other schools who do not have this STEM education. You see? So it is possible, but what becomes a worry is that sometimes we come across some of these things, we look at it, we clap our hands, and then we close the chapter. We get excited about it, and then we close the chapter. But it is one thing seeing this, and another thing putting it to work. <laughs> what I want to say is that this thing has been put to work somewhere Somehow, somehow, somewhere, somewhere in this country, this thing is working. 
here is Nkwanta. I also feel like the your school, you see, the school is an e block. Oh. Yes. It's not a school with a lot of facilities around here. It's an e block. <laughs> and this is what they've done. Sometimes when I come across some of these things, I feel like these schools they do better some than some of the so-called early schools, the big schools. You see, but you don't get to see what is happening in here. If I did not show up here, you wouldn't have known that. This is what they've put around here. This thing can actually solve a whole lot of issues um, pertaining to agriculture <laughs> in this country. Honorable Minister, I wish you would come here and come and see what, not in this school, but in OT region. Take time, a bit of your time, and then come and tour the OT region, the schools, and see what is happening here. You will be so amazed. Brava Senior High School is doing something. They are doing something here. The rest of the schools are doing, it's quite unfortunate that I don't have budget to visit the rest of the schools. My, my, my time also, I have to leave. But you have to take time and come and see what is happening around the schools here in Oti region. If you don't, if, if I, when you are coming, call me, I'll come with you. So that you will see that what we are talking about here is not a scam. Bro, what do you have to tell um, Ghana Education Service in terms of technology? Yes, Ghana Education Service. I want to tell you that if it comes to technology, we are number one. We'll be able to do something, so we need support. Just bring the support and we'll be able to put up things which can solve most of the problems we are facing as Ghanaians.